Although I speak it in your presence, you have a noble and true consent of godlike amity, which appears most strongly in bearing thus the absence of your lord. But if you knew to whom you show this honor, how true a gentleman you send your relief, how dear a lover of my lord your husband, I know you would be prouder of the work than customary bounty can enforce you. I never did repent for doing good. Thou shalt not now, for when companions that do converse and waste the time together, whose souls do bear an equal yoke of love, there must be needs a like proportion of lineaments of manners and of a spirit, which makes me think that this poor Antonio, being the bosom lover of my lord, must need to be like my lord. If it be so, how little is the cost I have bestowed in purchasing the semblance of my soul from out of the state of hellish misery? This comes too near the praising of myself. Therefore, no more of it. Here are other things. Lorenzo, I commit into your hand the husbandry and manage of my house until my lord's return from my own apart. I have toward heaven breathed a sacred vow to live in a prayer and contemplation only attended by Nerissus here until her husband and my lord's return. There is a monastery two miles off and there will be abide. I do desire you not to deny this imposition mm -hmm. the which my love and some necessity now lays upon you. Madam, with all my heart, I shall obey you in all fair commands. My people do already know my mind, and I will acknowledge you and Jessica, in place of Lord Bassanio and myself, and so farewell till we shall meet again. Fair thoughts and happy hours attend on you. I wish your ladyship all hearts content. I thank you for your wish, and I am well pleased to wish it back on you. Farewell to you, Jessica. Now, Balthazar, as I have ever found the honest truth, so let me find thee still. Take the same letter, and use thou all the endeavor of a man, and speed up her doer. See thou render this into my cousin's hand, Dr. Bellario. And look, what notes and garments he doth give thee. Bring them, I pray thee, with imagined speed, unto the transit to the common ferry, which trades to Venice. Waste no time in the words, but give, get thee gone. I shall be there before thee. Madam, I leave at all convenient speed. Come on, Nerissa. I have work in hand that you not, not know of. We'll see our husbands before they think of us. Shall, Shall they, they see us? us? But it's such a habit that they shall think we are accomplished with what we lack. I hold thee any wager when we are both accountered like young men. I prove the prettier fellow of the two and wear my dagger with a braver grace and speak between the change of man and boy with a reed voice and turn two mincing steps into a manly stride and speak a phrase like a fine bragging youth and tell quaint lies. How honorable ladies shall stop my love. With I denying they fell sick and died. I could not do with all, then I'll repent, and wish for all that, that I had not killed them. And twenty of these puny lies I'll tell, that the men <laughs> shall swear I'll have discontinued school above twelve months, and have with my mind a thousand raw tricks of these bragging jacks, which I will practice. <laughs> Why shall we turn to men? Fire. What a question's that, if thou were near lewd interpreter. But come, I'll tell thee all of my whole device when I am in coach, which says for us at the park gate. And therefore, haste away, for we must measure 20 miles. Uh, <laughs>